I mean, don't you hate when you do that? Like you're reading somebody's name and it's different. Uh, it's a bunch of different words and you pronounce it like it's like strung together. And in this case, that's how it's supposed to be pronounced, but I've done that on so many occasions. A plus sign? What is that? They've killed my bear. I demand recompense. I wish I could swing my sword right into this fucker's head. Um, let's go do this quest. Uh, so we gotta go back to the hideout for our main quest. Try not to move. Oi! You there! Don't just pass me by! This dude's like the whiniest man in this game. You handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. We've already helped you before. The question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. Whiteheart? They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. Are they ninja chocobos? It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. If I lived in this world, being as strong as I would be, All right. I would just punch a good so many people in the nose, even when I'm I accepting their quest. Chocobos? Just like, I you ever see people who have like a really punchable face? There. I just want to deck scoundrels him. were driving the poor things towards the old dark. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. Whiteheart. Don't worry. You'll know her when you see her right enough. Sure Did you I just... And good luck to you. I give those no good bastards a hiding from me. You just got me to 50. That's so funny. Um, so that's definitely a second account. Okay. Hey, I'm 50. Does this mean I'm officially a big swinging dick? I've wanted, I've always wanted to be. I always aspired to be one. I just want to be like B-Webs. Does that count? Even if one of them's a bot account? I didn't cheat my way to 50. B-Webs is a joke. We only accept Zibwab. Um, so, we gotta go save this, this Chocobo. So... Is it possible that Whiteheart is Clive's old chocobo that, like, saved him? Because it was a white chocobo, right? A white feather. Wouldn't that be? I think that, I think this is what it is. is kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. Oh my god. Could you imagine if we actually get reunited with our chocobo? Now that I think about it. Um, the chocobo that they had in the... Like that, um, that hunt challenge that they These did. Chocobos aren't going down without a fight. Um, oh crap. These chocobos fucked these guys up. Um, I believe it was white. Maybe I'm just misremembering. But I, I swear to God, if we get reunited with our chocobo. There it is. Is that our guy? 
You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why's that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Okay. I'm gonna do the best thing in this entire game. What you gotta do is you gotta pick up brigands with a tornado and then shoot them while they're in the sky. Like this. You just drop the tornado right here. And then you just kinda let let it do its job. Oh, wait, hey, hey, get in the tornado right now. Get in here. Get in here. There you go. Alright, so now that everyone's in the tornado, then we gotta use some lightning. And if that wasn't enough, now we gotta do this. We set him on fire. Alright, if you guys wanna come in, here, get in here. I gotta pull some of them in. Oh no, the tornado ran out. Get up. Oh, you thought you were gonna do something? It's a big boy. Oh shit! He actually moved a lot faster than I was expecting. There you go. All good. Then do this. West side. Yeah, so he has deceptive range for sure. Ooh, look what I'm gonna do. Aha. This is like Devil May Cry, Final Fantasy has a. Yeah, well, it's the same people that work on the game. Same person that did the uh, the combat for Devil May Cry, uh, the most recent one. That's pretty fun. Neat. Please tell me that's our Chocobo, though. Um, that'd be amazing. Yeah, look, one eye. Remember it lost an eye? Defending him? White heart, I presume. Torgal's pissed. He's like, come on, man. Do you know you got me. Boy? That's It couldn't be. Yeah. Saved his life. Damn, how long do fucking chocobos live? You survived. Alright, this is like the best quest ever. And you found yourself a flock. Ambrosia's just been out getting a ton of chocobo ass in the wild. I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh. Well, you sort of the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> now, I want one too. And the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully they did. And not only that.
This is amazing. It's my bird. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Does the 50 followers no, now have you at affiliate? I don't know how that works. I've never actually looked into that. Um, like, do you have to apply to become affiliate, or does it just happen? Because I think I meet all the other requirements, but I haven't looked at it in a while. But I'll do it after today. Um, I'll be away for a while, but... No, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to pry. Yeah. Don't matter who you are. You done right by me. What is it, girl? You'll get the invite she when your stream ends or like in the next day. Oh, nice. Yeah, but now that I'm affiliate, I was going to wait and I'll ask for your help when we are ready to kind of um, work on some other tools for the stream. I have a lot of people that come through um, that try to like uh, give us... Me if this advice or get us to buy things um, oh, for the right stream and stuff but are. it's kind of hard to kind of filter out what's who's like legit and who's not so since you've already been through it um, you know if you don't mind um, any recommendations when I am ready to actually work on that stuff um, that'd be fantastic just so that I don't know. Just increase the quality of the stream. This Chocobo has a an eye patch. I like it. Doesn't she cut an handsome thing? Do you use like a, a particular She does indeed. Like How service or anything? Ah, Work you upon your comfort. Really I'm stale, all for helping people heart. grow. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and so I, I don't even need you to like to actually do anything. If you just give me your recommendations on like where do you go, like you know, for like creating emotes and stuff like that. Um, we'll get along just fine without if you have her. one like a, a service or something that you recommend, you hear that, um, my heart? just let me know. You've earned yourself some time off. I get a lot of requests from people who are like freelance, um, working on things like that. But I don't know. That's it's hard to tell who's legit and who's you not, you know? You awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... Yeah, those are likely bots, to be honest, or scammers. Yeah, well, that's exactly why. They try to get your information, and they come through on stream, and, like, a lot of times they'll follow me, and then when I say no, they'll unfollow me, and then they leave. It's just like, yeah. It happens all the time. I've lost. Well, best be on my way. Yeah, I've lost count of how many Good times it's happened. Good luck to the both of you. Uh, go directly to Fiverr, or if you have a um, a direct contact. Okay. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Oh, nice. So we finally have a fucking chocobo. I'm gonna I'm gonna go everywhere with my chokey bokey. This is kind of cool. Uh, okay. Kui. Yeah, that, this was pretty awesome. Okay, so the plus sign, this is what people were talking about. The plus sign on side quests mean that these are some uh, important... 18 years, it was 18 years. After 18 long years, Clive has finally been reunited with his faithful steed. Oh my god. This is great. So, R3... I'm doing it. There's. Holy Santa Claus. Shit. Uh, Jill? Oh, Jill got a chocobo too. Oh, and Torgal's just... He's a unit. They're so big! That's crazy. And then, like, you can actually control when they run. Unlike Clive. Holy shit, this is awesome. Oh my god. I don't have to fuck with any of these mobs. Okay, I might have to fuck with them if I hit a dead end like this. Um, it's cool. I'm just going over here. I wonder, do they help you in combat? That'd be amazing. This is so cool. They go quick. Meow. 
Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, they don't really turn too well. Um, we need to get them some upgrades. We just got the base model. We need to get, like, a spoiler. Maybe some fucking rims and shit, you know? I also want, like, some neon lights under the hood. I'm gonna stop fucking around. Um, we have we have to progress a lot today because I won't get to play for the next few days. Because my wife just has to have a birthday. Mm. We have to go away and enjoy ourselves. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. All right, cool. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna travel to any of these places. I feel like they're gonna be sad now. I hear there's trouble. Ah, look at Thor. It's all right to touch him. I don't know. You go first. Torgal's a good guy. He doesn't do anything wrong. Pet him. Pet him, you little fuckers. I think you're too good for my animal. I went out last night um, with my wife for her birthday, and there was a there was a dog uh, that somebody brought out to one of the outdoor bars we were at, and it was a silver lab just like my silver lab. Um, and I'm not trying to be biased, like it was a cute dog, but I swear to God, my dog is with like so much cuter, could could cute circles. Around this other pup, um, and uh, Go on, then. I think I finally just have to just do it. I have to. I'm gonna have to contact some people and see what I have to do about getting my dog into um, dog modeling magazines. Uh, it needs to happen. Uh, I don't really need any of this. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. All right, let's go talk. See what Gav's got to say. But none of the curse breakers have returned. They'll be fine. Sid wouldn't be here if they weren't. So, Tarya got a little bit of a glow up, actually. She looks, uh, better with the long hair. I like it. Ah, Clive! <laughs> I've missed Good old one eye over here now. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. All right. Ooh. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? Oh, so they did occupy and it. And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Nice. He's right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. <laughs> nice. They'll never see us Thrones coming. of Games. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Nice. Let's go break some crystals. That's the best part about this game. This is the only Final Fantasy where crystals equals bad. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath near Ironhome. Drake's Fang in Darmekia. Drake's Spine 
in Walud, and Drake's tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kuku would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. He likes traps? Like fanboys? There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. I thought he was in the Benedicta. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. <laughs> and you're a Rosfield, of course. You just now got it. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh? So we're not going after Titan? Okay. Got more quests. Oh, I think that's going to be our hunt board. I'm ready to do some hunts. Nice. So, does no one else see the Moogle there? Patron's Whisper? I wonder what that is. What are we waiting for, indeed? All right. Got a new one over here. It's all the way up there, man. You gonna make me go all the way up there? That's bullshit. I like the music here. Uh, my man's soaking. Your uncle always seemed a kindly soul, if a little eccentric. That room's as ragged as the So Mather's all right. Yeah. Just weren't so lucky though. Clive. All right. Anything catch your eye? I guess not. Think you can help. Clive, welcome to the Patron's Whisper. What do you do? Patron's Whisper? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friend's donations? Oh no, that's still me. It's just Karen has her toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Oh, so, okay. So, let's ask about this her. This is busy. Still. What have you been doing the last five Words years? are immortal. <sighs> Come to claim your just desserts. I love desserts. Okay, so renown, that's what we've been getting from just questing and stuff. Um, so I can accept, okay, so I get more, a berserker ring. Ooh. You earned this. 400 ability points, hell yeah, brother. Only one meteorite? Oh, yours. That's some stepped on shit. Alright. Best of luck out there, Sid. Nice. Don't you look at the list, do you? 
All right, gout. Oh, same old. So. All right, cool. Ooh. Uh, but we'll never forget those who did make it. Uh, who didn't make it? Kenneth, Martel. They're still with us in our hearts. Who was Kenneth and Martel? Was Kenneth the uh, the guy that ran the kitchen? I don't remember a Martel. And Sid. And Sid, yeah. Oh, He's we know what happened to Sid. Too. All right, let's see what we got. Good oh, wait, I already did this. Okay. Now I'm curious. Where's my lore? I don't think I can look at it from here. I have to go talk to old man over here. What what is this? And how may I assist you today? My beloved homeland. Or at least it was. <sighs> All right. So, that's why she's here. Cuz she fled. I admit University of Canberra. We heard um, Sid talking about that. That's where his daughter was. One would think. <laughs> Allow me to educate you. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Of course. The grand cast. All right, so. Holy shit, we can go look at all this fucking lore. Oh my god. Holy shit, it just keeps going. That's, yeah, that's a lot. I'm not going to obviously go through all that, but... Fuck. One must understand one's place in the world. So this is basically where we've... done battle. Damn. Thus ends today's lesson. Wow. This game is very good. At making sure you have, if you have any questions, you don't have to go to any other sources. You just have to go to the various sources of lore. I think it's all right to touch him. What? This kid is really excited for chickens. Holy shit! Look at this guy. What are you doing? Are you just like, I'm gonna eat you! You're gonna die! Chocobo, chocobo, why can't you fly? What good are your wings if you can't reach the sky? Flap harder, says bluebird. Flap harder, says crow. Flap harder, or into the oven you go! I wish I could draw my blade. Did you come through the forge today? And you say Sid built this place? Alright. So it doesn't seem like there's anything else going on. Oh, is this the... Say removing a brand is almost as painful as getting one. Yikes. Oh yeah, I guess they basically have to like shave it off your face. Oh, this is the chick that's in love with Otto. There was a time I only had eyes for Otto. But then I saw the light. And his name is Cole. Now she's in the coal. The way he looks at you like a frightened fawn who's lost his mother. Oh, if only I could shoot an arrow through his heart. 
I bet that chick gets fucked, like, all the time. <laughs> alright, cool. Um, alright, so I'm gonna pick up a hunt. I don't actually know where this goes. Oh, this is your Once little home the base. Dalmex have laid siege to the Dominion, very little will be leaving Twinside, including the many medicines distilled there. Oh, oh man. All right, so pick up a quest. Hunt. Knock these out. Oh, right, there you go, Koopa. I've been looking all over What's the for matter, you. The matter is the this, Koopa, the hunt board. the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Alright, so we just need to knock some right. of them down. The people of Valestia are going through a lot already. The last thing they need is ungodly feet, and perhaps I can? Yes, okay, cool. Um... I don't really need to know about your adventures, Nectar. So I already got one of these. And I don't think you could... Yeah, you can't do them again, it looks like. So that's a B. Angel of Death. Okay, let's do it. Oh. I don't know where it's gonna Oh, so they don't tell you. You can't you don't accept anything. You just kinda have to find it. That's cool. use the bathroom before we do this next uh, questy westy um, where the fuck is this quest uh, I think I went to the wrong area all right let me accept the quest and then we'll we'll get through it eventually oh I can only go here apparently So it's somewhere down there. I hear there's trouble. How do I get down there? I didn't see any place to go down. Oh shit! There's a. St oh, okay. I didn't go down here yet. Wow, this is really cool. Five years, man, and you have this? This is way better than our old bitch ass hideout living in a cave. Won't be long now, Martel. See, I, I am, uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've oh, been. Oh, was to grow Martel here. possibly it's the old botanist that we had? The old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride in joy. Yeah. It was a Martel. sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she... Oh, well, she was a chick. I got died, it. And now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not I thought it was a it guy. Ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to... You couldn't take... All right, we'll do it. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a chick. Oh. She always had a... Here you go. Okay. Good. Let's go, let's go. I have to pee. You hear that? <laughs> uh, I love this game. I, I even love the fetch questy bullshit. Especially now that I have a bird, too. Um. Alright, so I'm just going all the way over there. Can I, like, fast travel? So I don't have to walk all the way over there? I'm very lazy. I don't fuck around. With work. That 
rooms as ragged as Bam. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here. Courtesy of Martel. You each get Martell. an apple. That's all. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girls in the furrows? Of course she was. I <laughs> am brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. Oh, so she died. Proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. She died doing that. Holy shit. Titan's literally ruining their hideout. And he did that. Others weren't so lucky, though. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Yeah. Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the dead ones. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? Wait, you're making me go all the way back over there? Not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh. And, uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? Alright. That was the last of the apples. I should head to the back here. Now I gotta go all the way back over here. There needs to be an easier way to get I there, hear right? There's trouble in Rosaria. I think it's alright to touch him. It's the chicken boy. Chicken boy. Chicken boy. <laughs> this kid's still clapping to this day. I wish you could do like a sprint while you're here. I didn't actually see what was down in here. Don't care. All right, we're gonna finish up this quest. I'm gonna use the bathroom, and then we're going to continue our story. The curse breakers send their thanks and their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her after all these years. I suppose she was very kind. She put everything into her work. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. I, oh, I didn't do anything. By the way, Otto. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? That wasn't so bad. Oh, nice. I have a. Got Martell's apples. Okay, so these are our key items. Oh, they're displayed in Clive's chambers. Okay. 
You know, Clive, if you just put those in your chambers, you don't eat them. That's a pretty big waste. It's not going to last very long. It's actually going to rot pretty quickly. Um, yeah, kind of a kind of a stupid thing to do, honestly. You asshole. <laughs> okay, so I haven't really been feeling Flames of Rebirth. So I'm thinking about putting it back into um, Limit Break and then... Oy. How fucking expensive. Okay, maybe taking it off Limit Break. We can upgrade. We can't upgrade either of the ultimates that we have. I would like to see what a mastered aerial blast does. But I guess we're going to have to wait. So the nice thing is there's no drawback to... Oh, I can't master it yet. Okay, fine. I'll do... Um, I'll make it easier to dodge. And I'll also put some in this. There you go. Actually, I'm pretty good at dodging, as it is. I don't need no fucking help. There you go. Alright, so we have rap, uh, Mastered Thunderstorm instead. <sighs> yeah, Scarlet Cyclone's eventually going to get replaced by something, but um, I don't know what yet. Okay, so I'm going to go use the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> 